Hello, my name is Juan Sebastian and I will use some Play-Doh to show you how the Jewel Thief circuit works. It's going to be a very simplistic representation, but it will give you a glimpse of what is actually happening inside the circuit. We need a transistor, a resistor, a ferrite uh, thoroid to create a magnetic field, an LED, a used battery, some wiring in different colors to connect the different parts, and that's it. Now let's focus on the transistor. It has a collector, a base, and an emitter leg. If the collector, if the collector receives energy, nothing happens. But if the collector and the base receive energy, boom, the emitter starts to emit. Now we'll focus on an LED. It has a positive and a negative leg. If we connect the positive to the positive of the battery and the negative to the negative, nothing happens. But why? Well, because the voltages are different. Let's talk about the thoroid. We will need it to create a magnetic field. For that, we need two pieces of wire of two different colors. We will wrap it around and around until we get something that looks like this. Okay, and now we will start the circuit. First, we bring the battery, some wire to connect it to the LED in the negative side and to the transistor in the emitter side. Now we bring the resistor which has to be in the base of the transistor. And remember that toroid? It looked kind of ugly, right? Well, for educational purposes, we will show it this way. Now we need some wire. We weld it to the battery and to the upper part of the coil and light starts to be emitted. But what is actually happening? To understand it, we need to go slow motion. First, let's unplug it. Connect it again and see what happens. The current flows through the wire, goes around the thoroid on both directions, reaching the resistor, the LED, and the transistor, which gets activated as soon as the current reaches the base. The circuit is now closed, so the current starts flowing freely creating a magnetic field around the thoroid. However, the strong magnetic field on the red side of the thoroid eventually closes the flow of electricity that goes to the base through the resistor, which closes the circuit. As the current stops, the magnetic field collapses, sending a high voltage pulse that lights up the LED for a brief instant. At 60,000 times per second, the cycle goes so fast that it looks like a continuous flow of light to the human eye. 